Hey guys, Bing here. Um, previously, I showed you this family. It's a, a par parametric retractable rover, so which you can open and close, and also you can rotate the blades. Um, you can download this family here. So that's on the self isolation day 29. So today I'm going to show you how to model this family. And uh, let me just close this. So um, first we need to create a profile. And the reference plan reference plan dimension equal dimension and then dimension equal and dimension so this will be the way let's call it w and this one will be height h and then go create lines and then lock them onto the reference plans and oh, it's Okay, that's finished. Then new family, generic model, and again reference plans. Oops, and the dimension. Sorry, not these two dimension, only these two. Equal, and this will be the the length. Of, it's called, of the blade so I'll call it L and now go back to the profile and load into this family and then create sweep sketch path I'll check the chain so you you can draw a line that lock lock VV double check the Constraints, so that's one temporary. We just align and lock. So good. Okay, so then select this profile. Okay, so if you go to 3D view, so um, this is a blade. So go on the project browser, family profile, double click this, so you will see that's H and W. So associate a parameter H. And OK, and also W and OK. So OK. Now if we go to family types, so that's three dimension. Let's change that height 200 and width 20 and length 2 meter. Yep, good. So in the so that you can add a um, you can also add a material parameter. Um, okay, okay. So and also this angle. So let's call it A for now. So this angle parameter can change. So let me try 45 degrees. So you can rotate this. Blades. Okay, so by simply changing this angle, not maybe not. Okay, change it back to zero and okay. So now this blade family is finished. So now we need to create another generic model. So reference plan first and dimension equal dimension. Uh, sorry. and equal dimension so this will be the width of the whole thing instance and this will be the depth and the instance okay so we need another ref uh, reference plan this will be the where the first blade sit so uh, let's create a parameter let's call it offset one and uh, this will be the last parameter oh, sorry last uh, blade 
last location of the blade. Um, so the location of the last blade. Create a parameter offset two. Uh, type. Okay. So now we need the blade family low into here and I'll place it somewhere here and uh, click on this blade family edit top so let's associate all these parameters okay so material we need to create a material height here I'm going to rename it blade height length length will equal this width so just link that and if I apply you will see the match is width W so this will be the play thickness and then OK and OK A will be the play angle uh, I'll choose instance so all good yep so and then align and align here yeah. so the first one's done so now let's create an array so AR last here yeah. okay so then a, a align and align so now Select one of the group and select this one, and then add parameter. So this will be the number of the, this array. Okay, so this number we will use this, so which is depth minus offset one minus offset two, then divide by a um, nominal spacing. So go to family types. First, let's create a spacing. Spacing length type. Okay, so give give it a number. So maybe two hundred for now. And then we need to add a parameter here. So which is bracket depth minus offset one minus offset two. Then divide by spacing. Okay, so yeah, I'm not sure if this is correct number, but uh, we will just have a look. Okay, so add a dimension here, um, and also I'm going to adjust this number so it's easier for for us to check. So offset, let's let's change the offset to 100 h, and then. Let's change the depth to 2200. Zero, zero. So, which means from here to here it's 2 meter, and then the gaps should be 200. Okay, and uh, what we have the number we have here is 10. So, actually, I think we need 11 of the blades, but 10 spacing, so which means we need plus 1. So okay, so let's let's hang on, let me have a look. Right two ten two two offset one hundred one hundred two ten. That's interesting. No that should be oh hell. Yeah, I found it. So so see here. So it's on the wrong reference plane. Okay, so I align this and uh, remove constraint and block. Okay, now it's correct. Two hundred. Oh, yeah, two hundred. So now let's. Let's um, let's check because this spacing should be um, this spacing should be minimum or maximum or maximum spacing. 
and then if I go this up a little bit, I don't want the actual spacing to be larger than the 200. So if I type in maybe at 10 mil, apply, and then you'll see we have 201, but we have the spacing here which is 200. We, we don't want that, so what we need to do is um, add round up. So, pi. So now every time, if let, let me change back to 2200, so which is 200. Even now, if I ch add even just one, so we will have one extra play. And then the spacing is always uh, smaller than this 200. Maybe I'll just rename it. I call it max spacing. Okay, so yeah, let's let's test this uh, family. So create create a new project. And go to side plan, create a roof. I'll check all the slopes, and I'm going to create a flat roof with a hole in the middle. And go back to the family, load into this project. Okay, go to 3D view. Um, yeah, actually. It's easier to make it, uh, make it a work plan uh, based family. So go back to this family and then what's this called? Family category and parameters. Check this work plan base. And also, if you want to play this onto a slope roof or even a vertical, or, or like make it vertical, or you can just uncheck this always vertical and OK. So now load this back into the project. So click on that, edit work plan, pick plan, OK, pick the roof. And then you can, if you want to, you can just minus 100 maybe. Yeah, OK, so go to side plan. So now you can drag this, you can either align the lock, you can lock. Or you can just drag on that block, drag onto that block, drag that block. Okay, so if I go to 3D view, so this is this is it. So you can change the angle, angle, angle of the blades, or just have them vertical. And then if you change, because I lock them, so if I change the opening size. The blades will match the size. Yeah. All good. And also these you can adjust the offsets. You can uh, change the size size of the blades. Change material. Maximum size maybe three hundred. 300, 300, so you have you have less, something like that. Um, that's that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow we'll have uh, we'll create a option for this family, so it can be open or closed. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Oh, sorry, I'll see you tomorrow.